talking about the three-phase inverter, and this is made up of three half bridges. So we call each of them a pole, and we are going to look at how we can go from one DC source to a three-phase load. We'll be looking at the different switch states and how those relate to the line-to-line -line voltages and also the line-to-neutral voltages of the load. So let's go through each of these states. It's going to take some time, but the important thing is to break each one down and go through one by one. So that's what we're going to do. This is the three-phase inverter. So you can see that we have these three half bridges labeled phase A, phase B, and phase C. They are connected to the DC input and we're putting the zero in between the two, but you're going to see the full DC value uh, if you add those two together. Then we have a three phase load and this could be any load. Generally, they're going to have at least a small inductive component in it that is going to make the current need to continuously flow. There needs to be a path for the current to flow. The important voltages that we're going to look at are at the output and we're going to look at the line to line voltages. And for example, we have VAB down here. So that's looking at the voltage from VA to VB here. And we also put that in terms of line to neutral values. So for example, uh, VAN would be from VA to VN here. This is the neutral point of the load. So we'll look at both the line to line voltages. So there's VAB, VBC, and VCA. And then we'll also look at the line to neutral voltages, VAN, VBN, and VCN. The table in the upper left gives all of the possible combinations for each of these poles. So when you see a positive, for example, this positive VA, this means that the VA is connected to the positive part of the DC. So if you were to draw the switch closed, switch S1 would be closed here. And so VA is kind of to the positive part. And the next one, I'm just going to do the first row of this table. VB is also connected to the positive part, so we're going to have this switch closed. And then the third one, phase C, is also connected to the positive here. So we're going to analyze each of these circuits to understand all of the different combinations. So on the table, there are eight different combinations because each phase can only be in the positive or negative state, but then you have to take all the combinations of those. So we're going to get eight different states. We're going to go through all of those just to see what does the line to line voltage look like in that case, and what does the line to neutral voltage look like for each of those. Valerie is going to step us through each of these. We're going to start with the first row. And so this is where all of them are kind of to the positive part of the DC. And if you rearrange this, you see this diagram down here. And we're just going to label in here, we're just going to put these, they're all the same, so it doesn't really matter, A, B, and C. So this is what it would look like. And you can kind of tell from this one, they're not connected over any voltage. So actually everything in here is going to be zero volts. So we're going to fill in these tables. The middle one shows the line to line voltages. So VAB, VBC, and VCA. And the one on the right shows the line to neutral voltages, VAN, VBN, and VCN. So we're going to go line by line and fill this in. Luckily, this is a very easy case, and I, we have the schematic at the bottom to help us. So we can see that the line to line voltages here are all going to be zero, 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 zero. Easy. And the line to neutral voltages are also going to be zero. Wonderful. So that's the first case. Let's go to the next case. So let's just go one at a time. VA is now negative, meaning that instead of S1 being on, S4 is going to be on. And remember, only one switch in the half bridge can be on at one time. So we have that one connected. And then the other two, VB, connected to positive and VC, is connected to positive. So you can see the switch connections here. Let's rearrange that a little bit easier to digest. 
And so at the bottom, you see the redrawn diagram, but let's fill in the phases. So here, phase A is connected to the bottom part. So we're going to label that as A down here. And then the B and C are connected to the positive. So those are going to be B and C here. These impedances are all going to be the same value in a balanced load. We make that assumption. So based on the same ideal impedance, we can determine the voltage across these different uh, loads. So you'll see B and C are in parallel, meaning their impedances are in parallel, so they're halved, while the impedance A down here is by itself. So you're having half of Z in series with a full Z. And so if you do the math on that, you'll see that the voltage drop across the first two, so B and C here is one third of VDC, while the voltage drop over the bottom one, bottom impedance, is going to be two thirds VDC. So we're going to keep that in mind as we look at the different voltages. So let's fill in this table again. First, we'll look at the line to line voltages and we'll just go one at a time. So V A B. So this is from A down here to B. And actually that's a negative VDC that we're going to see. All right. Then we have V B C from the point B to here. That's going to be zero. That's just straight connected. Then we have BCA, so from here and to back to A, and that's going to be the positive VDC. Okay, so now let's go to the line to neutral voltages. We have them already drawn in the bottom, so you can reference, but the AN, so from A to N, we're going to get two thirds VDC, and it, the polarity is actually negative, so it's going to be negative two-thirds VDC. Now let's look at VBN. So we're going from this B to the line neutral, and that's going to be a positive one-third VDC. And then we're going to do the third one, which is from C to line neutral, and that's going to be the same, one-third VDC. So Valerie will take us to the next one. Same sequence again. VA is positive, so we can draw on the switches here. This time VB is negative, draw a switch in here. VC is positive, so we're drawing in these switches. If we reconfigure this, it looks like this, because two are connected to the positive and one is connected to the negative, just like the one we just looked at. But now let's just name these phases in the diagram below. So A now is a positive, so we can put that in this box, this impedance. And this time B is in the, connected to the negative of the DC. So that's going to be B. And then C is going to be the third one up here. Okay, so we can see, again, we have that same structure of two in parallel on the top, the connected to neutral, and then one in series connected the negative of the DC. So you can see those voltages that we're going to get over each of them. Let's break this down again in our line to line and our line to neutrals. So you, once you have the diagram at the bottom, you just kind of fill it in. So from VAB, we have a positive VDC. Then from a B to C, so now from here to B to C, this time it's flipped, so this time it's a negative VDC. And then from C to A, those are directly connected, so that's zero volts. Then let's look at the line to neutrals. VAN is from this point to the line neutral. That's going to be a positive one-third VDC. Then we're going to have VBN, and this is flipped, so this is going to be the negative VDC, two-thirds VDC. And the last one, C to N, is going to be positive one-third 
PDC. Now we're looking at the fourth row. So VA is positive, so that's connected here, S1 is on. VV, positive, S3 is on. VC, negative, so S5 is on here. Again, we can rearrange this to make it a little bit clearer. So at the bottom, you can see that here. And let's just write in the phases. So A and B are now connected to the positive, so A and B. And C is the one connected to the negative. And we're getting the same voltages, one-third VDC over the A and B, and then the two-thirds VDC over C. So let's fill in the tables. For VAB, so this is from this A point to B, which is over here, we're going to get zero. And then from VBC, we are going to get from B to C, we're seeing positive VDC there, so VDC. And then from C to A, so from bottom to the A, we are getting a negative VDC. Okay, let's look at the line to neutral, VAN, A to neutral, positive one-third, VDC. And from line B to neutral, same, one-third, VDC. And lastly, from C to neutral, that's going to be negative, and it's going to be two-thirds. The next line is now, it's slightly different, we have two negatives. So one is here, phase A, switch S4 is on. B is also connected to the negative polarity of VDC, so S6 is on here, and VDC is connected to the positive, so S5 is on here. Let's rearrange this again, and this time we have two connected to the negative and only one connected to the positive, but we still have these two impedances down here are in parallel, so the impedance equivalent impedance is going to be half, and then the one on the top is going to be the full impedance. So you're still going to get this two-thirds and one-third of VDC over those voltages. Let's first fill in the phases. So phase A is connected to the bottom, so we can put that here. Phase B also connected to the bottom, label that one here, and C is the one that's connected to the positive. All right, so using this diagram, let's go to the tables and fill them in starting with the line-to-line -line voltages. So V, A, B, here to here, they're connected, that is zero. V, B, C, from here to here, that's gonna be the negative V, D, C. And then from C to A, we're gonna get the full positive V, D, C. Now the line to neutral, so V, A, N is here, and we're getting a negative one-third VDC. Then the V from B to the neutral, that's also gonna be negative one-third VDC. And then from C to neutral, that's gonna be the positive two-thirds VDC. So this one, the A is positive, so switch S1 is on here, and the other two, so phase B is negative, so S6 is on, and C is negative, so S2 is on. Okay, again, let's rearrange it. This is gonna be the same topology as the just the last one, and so let's fill in our phases. A is the one at the top, B and C are the ones connected to the negative part of the DC, and it's gonna be the same voltages, but let's just go through each of the phases. So the line to line AB is going to be full VDC and BC here, that's zero, just shorted, and CA here to here is going to be the negative, negative VDC. Now line to neutral, so now A to neutral is the two-thirds VDC and the B, N, here to here, negative one-third 
PDC, and you can see it's going to be that same voltage from from C to N, so that's going to be negative one third PDC. Next one. Now we're looking at phase A being negative, so switch S4 is on, and VB is positive, so S3 is on, and VC negative, so S2 is on. If we rearrange this configuration again, we get the same topology we are just looking at. Just fill in the phases. A is connected to the negative, B is the positive one, and C is the negative connection. So let's go back to the voltages again. The A to B is negative B to C, and B to C here to here, the positive B to C, and C to A is same node, so that's going to be a zero. So VAN to neutral, that's going to be a negative one-third VDC. Then we have VBN, so from here to the neutral, positive two-thirds VDC. And C to neutral, CN, that's going to be a negative one-third VDC. Last switch state. This is actually going to be easy. Negative, so S4 is on. V, the, VB is negative, so it's connected to the negative, so switch 6. S6 six is on. VC is negative, so switch S2 is on. This one, everything's connected to the negative, so it's going to be a lot easier. Here's our diagram. We can just fill in A, B, C as they're all going to be the same. And we can very easily fill in these because everything's going to be zero. So we get through zero, zero, zero for the line to line voltages and all the line to neutrals. There's no voltage actually going over any of them. So again, they're all going to be zero. So we filled in all the charts and we're going to notice some things about them. So here's a summary chart of all the different cases. So going through all the different switch states, there's eight different switch states. Two of them, so all positive or all negative, give you zero across everything. But there are six states in between that can produce different voltages over the load, the three-phase load. And for the line-to-line -line voltages, you can see that we can only get three different values. We're either going to get a positive VDC, a zero, or a negative VDC. And we can get all the different combinations of those for those phases. So we can use those in our switching sequence, which we'll do later. And for the line to neutral, we get a little bit of a different combination here. You can see we either get a positive two-thirds, I'll just circle one example of each one, a positive two-thirds VDC, a positive one-third VDC, a negative one-third VDC, I'll try to keep it all in the same here, negative uh, one-third VDC, or a negative two-thirds VDC. So we have four different values that we could have seen over the line to neutral, while there's only three voltages that we would see over the line to line. We're going to focus a little bit more on the line to line. I think it's actually more intuitive to look at the line to line, but it's good to know about the line to neutral if you happen to have that type of load or you want to really understand each individual voltage over the load. These tables summarize all of the line to line voltages that you can have and the line to neutral voltages. And then the next step is to switch in a sequence between these different states such that you get the waveform, the AC waveform at the output that you want. So that will be the focus of another video.